Welcome to another episode of AutoRamblings.com. Today we're going to try something new on my uh, 2002 Chevy S10 here. Uh, she's been an old faithful truck. A uh, little bit of wear and tear on the on the paint and grill, but uh, we're going to get her all cleaned up and uh, ready to do some uh, plasti dip on the uh, grill. As you know here on the as you can notice on the grill here, see some of the white faded areas that we're going to try to remedy here. So I'm going to take her down to the car wash, get her nice and clean, and then we'll take the next step of uh, wiping this thing down really well with some alcohol. Uh, I've got some 99% alcohol that has not hardly any water in it, and um, that will be, uh, that will make sure that we get all the uh, residual uh, treatment and, and uh, silicone or whatever has been put on this thing over the years and get it very clean and then we're going to uh, mask some things off and we'll talk a little bit about the plastic dip and uh, as soon as I get this thing cleaned up we'll come right back. Okay I'm back from the car wash. I got the surface really clean uh, with the sprayer and I wanted to make sure I got any of the loose dirt off of it. The next thing I want to do is I want to take some compressed compressed air and just totally blow around the uh, grill area to get any loose dirt and moisture and such. And then I'm going to take a little bit of uh, where it's needed for uh, some uh, dirt that's stuck there that didn't quite come off from the car wash. Uh, a little bit of water, soap and water, and wipe it down. And then when I'm done, I'm going to thoroughly wipe this whole plastic area down that I'm going to be painting with the uh, plastic dip with uh, alcohol. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, they're pretty well clean. Uh, you can see on this rag I've got quite a bit of dirt off of the, uh, the grill even after the car wash. Um, so I've got most of the dirt off of, off of the plastic area here, um, especially around the the nooks and crannies of um, you know the corrugated areas of the grill as best as possible anyway because um, I took a uh, an interior brush and uh, just kind of wetted it down really well and just really got in there and, and uh, it's actually pretty clean it just dries back white so I guess it's just from the plastic being uh, sun beaten and old but uh, I was real careful to get around in here because the way the plastic dip works, you, you don't have to be real careful about masking. We can just, you know, you can just spray right in here and get, even get a little bit on the chrome pieces. Um, and supposedly, from all the videos I've seen on YouTube, and I'm going to have some uh, shortcuts uh, to websites and YouTubes uh, from other folks that have done this. Seems to be very popular amongst the uh, younger crowd with their cars uh, doing stripes and wheels and such. Uh, really quite impressive stuff uh, that I've seen on the internet. But uh, apparently you could just cut around, you know, if it's kind of stubborn there and just start it and it should just peel right off. And we'll show you that. Uh, where I'm going to be extra careful, I'm going to mask because this is a plastic coating. So with a plastic coating, you know, you don't want that on your radiator because uh, basically all, what it's going to do is it's going to coat your radiator and you don't want that because you still want airflow getting into your engine. So my next step, especially for the part where I'm spraying into the inside of the grill, uh, I'm going to get some paper, however I can pull it off here. I might have to disconnect part of my grill here in, in places. I'll make sure I get uh, paper in behind it so that when I spray it, it hits the paper and that goes into the uh, into the radiator. So that's what I'm going to do next. And uh, as soon as I do that, we'll be back. Okay, I've got everything all masked off here. I probably did a lot more masking than I needed to do because according to a lot of the folks on uh, YouTube and, and what they've done, is they'll just spray right on top of everything and then peel everything off. Well, I'm trying to eliminate as much work as I possibly can up front so it'll make it a lot easier for cleanup. 
Uh, the only thing I'm not masking is the uh, chrome strip across the middle of the grill here. That should come off relatively easy. Uh, from what I understand, the key is to make sure you do four or five coats. The heavier the, the heavier you, uh, the heavier you put it on, the easier it is to peel off later. So, according to the instructions, you want to make sure you're at least 70 degrees plus outside, and preferably, I would think, not raining or high humidity or uh, um, not too much wind or anything. It's a perfect day today. So I'm going to follow the instructions here. Uh, it says hold can uh, 12 to 16 inches from surface, moving back and forth slightly, overlapping each stroke, apply heavy enough to produce an even wet appearance, allow 30 minutes between coats. Uh, from what uh, some of the folks uh, on YouTube uh, said is uh, just put on the first few coats real thin, just get a good even covering on it. Um, and then you just kind of layer it on. So this is a flat black color as you can see from the cap here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to shake this baby up and we're going to start giving it a coat. You'll notice here I took my uh, top half of my uh, fan uh, housing off uh, because it would cover here. I didn't really want to get any spray on that because of the labels and uh, some other instructions here. I don't know, I'm just kind of that way. I like to keep the original labels as long as I can and such and make it look as original as possible. So a little overspray may get on the, on the frame here, uh, but it should come off fairly easy. Um, so let's go ahead and... As with any kind of spray paint, this is real similar. You probably want to spray a little bit to get it started. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to be too concerned about uh, inside the nooks and crannies here. I just wanted to get a, a first coat started on the main surface area and uh, I'm going to let that dry really well. Put on a couple more coats and uh, I'll come back to you here uh, once we do that. Well, okay, I've got uh, five coats on here now. I think I'm going to put one more coat. I even tested how it peeled off. Look how easily that peeled off there. I'm going to show you here. Basically, you just kind of up it up with your thumb, and I can see why you want to get a little thicker because it makes it a little easier to, and it just peels right off. So I can see why they're not too careful about masking. Uh, but still, I, I wanted to, the least amount of cleanup as I as I could get. So I'm going to put another coat on here and uh, start cleaning this up, peeling off this stuff off the chrome. I, that looks kind of nice there, but I kind of want the chrome, so I'm going to keep the chrome. I can always come back later and put it over the chrome if uh, I so decide. So we're going to get uh, another coat on here, put everything back together, and we're going to show you the finished product. Okay, I've got most of my masking off. I've got the took all the paper out from behind the grill and popped the grill back into place. And I clean up some of the headlamp and stuff. Uh, some of the plastic in there, I guess I probably could have uh, done a little more masking, maybe down in between the grill, but you can't see it anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But I could see why you want to put it on thicker, because it just seems to want to peel right up. So you just kind of work it with your fingers and uh, just kind of get a good hold of it and uh, the stuff just wants to come right off. It's just amazing. Now, 
After it's been on for several months in the baking sun and a few car washes and whatever, I just don't know how well this stuff will come off. Uh, I've seen people that said they've had it on their wheels, they've painted their chrome wheels or their uh, painted uh, uh, aluminum wheels uh, with this stuff and they've had it on for a, a year or so and uh, it came right off. So. It may depend on the surface that you're putting this stuff on. But you can see this. It's just coming right off. So I'm going to work the rest of this off of here and to get my, uh, my uh, fan uh, housing back on. Look at that. And we will be done. So we'll talk to you here just in a minute. Well, I must say I'm very pleased with the the results of the plastic, the plasti dip spray. Uh, it took my old dull looking plastic grill and made it look like brand new. Just amazing. And now that it's coated in a plastic coating, I'll be curious to know how well it holds up against rock uh, dings and a, th a few other things. I did notice there was a spot or two where it looks like it wants to come up. I don't know if that's because something from the wind it started getting breezy towards the end of the afternoon. Uh, I may have sprayed over it, so I may have to do a little touch-up, but nothing that uh, I'd have to do a full mask job on, so it'll be pretty quick. So that's that is the plastic plasti uh, dip spray. I used just over a can. Uh, there's still a little bit left in the first can, but it started sp uh, spitting out uh, chunks. Well, not chunks, maybe just blobs. So it was causing a problem. So I used a can, probably a can and a quarter for this. I put six coats on and uh, makes it look like a brand new truck. I just need to touch up my bumper with some paint and my hood. Now it outshines the rest of the truck, but it really looks good. So this is Auto Ramblings showing you the uh, Plasti dip process and uh, I'm really pleased with it. It really did a good job. We'll see how it holds up. We'll follow up with you in uh, six months and uh, let you know how it looks. We'll take some pictures and uh, put it up on AutoRamblings.com and uh, like I said, when we get this YouTube up, we're going to also give you some links and stuff on autoramblings.com and on YouTube so that you can uh, check out some of the other uh, Plasti Dip spraying that uh, folks are doing with this stuff. You can get it in different colors. You can buy it in bulk so you can use your own sprayer. You can spray a whole car with it. Uh, there's people who've done it on a whole car. Um, might be a cheap way to get a <laughs> a new paint job. Uh, it's pretty easy to apply. Just uh, spray it on, peel off the excess that you don't want on your uh, other trim, and you're done. So this is Auto Rambling signing out.